Hello everybody, today we're gonna charge this air conditioner with this condenser uh, with a recovery machine. There is no power downstairs in the apartment, the electricians are working on the power, so we don't have, usually you use the compressor of the condenser to push the refrigerant, but we're gonna do it backwards with the recovery machine. Let me show you how. Before we start the process, let's talk about it. Uh, why am I doing this? Because we don't have power here at this unit. Uh, they are rehabbing the apartment downstairs, so we don't have any power. Uh, I usually do it with the help of the compressor of the condenser, but we don't have power, so we're gonna use uh, the um, recovery machine. We're gonna hook it from another unit. We're gonna get to 110. And um, would it hurt anything? No. Um, the recovery machine doesn't know anything. It's just a machine to transfer refrigerant. It doesn't know where is it going to or anything. So we are just going to reverse it and uh, put it from the tank to the condenser. In regular recovery, you do it from the condenser to the recovery tank through the machine. So uh, if you notice, we're using refrigerant 22. Uh, we're going to charge it. Uh, through the vapor side. I'm using thick hoses, uh, three eight hoses and half inch hoses. So this is, is this is gonna be fast. Uh, I'm using my tank upright because it's 22 through the vapor. If it had, if it was um, 410, then we would uh, put the tank upside down. So, okay, let's start. So of course, uh, before, putting any refrigerant, we did a vacuum on the system and we got it to 180, 190, 180 and we're gonna wait for 15 minutes and if it doesn't drop, we're gonna be good. We're gonna break the vacuum with refrigerant. And there's no core on those valves. We're gonna use the suction line and we have three eight hoses with no restrictions. So I don't know how long it's gonna take but uh, we're gonna bleed, so we turn, we open the tank, so the gas is gonna go through here to the in, and then it's gonna go out through the yellow hose, and then it's gonna go in the system. So, right now we have pressure here because uh, the tank is open, so we're gonna bleed. Okay. We don't want air in the system. Okay, so now we're gonna zero. That's zero. That's open. Now we're gonna, it's gonna go in and out. Now we're gonna turn it on. So we need 5.4 or so, according to the label here. So we're gonna turn it on and see how long it takes. Okay, it's 7.30, everything is on. I'm gonna turn it on, this is, this is on. I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna open. So I don't know if going too fast is gonna hurt it. I don't think so because it's off, but I'm gonna turn it off and wait until the gas settles. I don't think it should matter because it's, uh, 
it's off so the vapor will not hurt anything so 14 minutes and it's about 481 so we need a little bit more so it's not too bad I like this idea Okay, so that's about where we want it. I'm gonna turn it off here. And it's off there. So 5.15, that's what we want. Okay, that's it so now we're gonna remove everything so oh now okay now we're gonna put our core back so I put on the tip of the tool right there I'm gonna insert it and then I'm gonna tighten this I'm gonna screw it and now I'm gonna open this valve I'm gonna be able to push and right now I cannot I cannot push it because this valve is closed so now I'm gonna open it now I'm able to push this put this I'm pushing in I'm pressing in I'm pushing and now it feels like it's right there so I'm gonna open up this side and I have no gas coming out so I think that's it. Now I'm gonna remove the liquid line. And now this. I'm gonna test for leaks. bubbles I'm gonna clean this and now we're gonna put um, caps guys I hope you it was useful to you please don't forget to like and subscribe see you later